Well, here we are at vlog number eight. This is, yeah, episode eight of the Reno vlogs. Okay, so let me explain. I know you guys are like, Peter, you've been promising a tour of the final renovations on the inside. And yes, I have been promising one. <laughs> yes, it will be coming. But okay, here's the thing. I haven't filmed it yet. And now phase two is beginning. So phase two, I think I mentioned in one of the previous episodes would be the outside. If you're new to the Potter Collector channel, first of all, welcome. We're happy to have you here. Um, this is the eighth episode of renovating. So in episode two, this door was installed. It's an infinity door, so it opens all the way. It's a three panel door. So with this beautiful door, you now need a beautiful space. You know, they say when you renovate something, it always spreads, like, you know, what you're doing always spreads. So if you start with a bathroom, oh, you're ripping the floor out, then all of a sudden, oh, now you're extending the floor into the main house. It just, it's, it's a wildfire effect. This was always the plan to redo this outside area, and it is starting this week with both a brand new patio and landscaping. So that's gonna be two episodes. So then that leaves vlog 10 to be the big reveal of the whole space. So in the past vlogs, I've like been hiding the house a bit so that you guys don't see it, so that you can see it for the first time in the final reveal. I'm not gonna hide it too much, but I'm not gonna also just like do a pan over and show the whole place. But that final reveal will be like a before and after shots, like side by side, so I'm excited about that. And then the other thing about the the big final reveal is like I have to clean the house. Like it's not dirty, but like I've got to just make sure like stainless steel is spotless and you know there's there's not a speck of dust on the floor, you know what I mean? Okay, so um this feels so big because I took the lights down yesterday. I had string lights kind of st string into these poles um, to light up the space. All right, so Tim and I were working back here on Sunday getting the place ready for the landscapers. And um, so we had to take uh, a shed out, clear the shed, got rid of most of the stuff, sold it on Facebook Marketplace, move rocks, move this, move that, get everything under the pergola. So this is like all the furniture. And I still have to sell some stuff, but here's all the new furniture under these gray protectors. New-ish grill, it's like a used new grill. Um, this is the old furniture that I'm gonna be selling. The shed was over in this corner. That's now gonna be a big pine tree, so a 10-foot pine tree. Oh, the roses are blooming, that's beautiful. So they are planting three 10-foot Norwegian spruce, two 8-foot Black Hill spruce, one 6-foot Black Hill spruce, and three 8-foot birch trees and then a bunch of um, burning bushes scattered around everything. So like the whole back of the yard and the side of the yard, it's just gonna be like a, a forest, so that's exciting. Today, they're going to be delivering at least the 10-foot um, Norwegian spruce into the yard so that they're here. Let me just show you like the layout of the patio. All right, so all of this concrete is being taken out. All this is being taken out. This is a big concrete slab underneath the deck that is also gonna be removed, as well as this concrete here, and then obviously the steps um, are gonna be removed. This is where a tree used to be. That's where that tree that we took down in vlog, I think, two or three um, used to be. So the patio, all of this from here to that corner of the, the sunroom, so like coming out like this and like this, is gonna be pavers. And then from this corner, it's gonna to go to the end of this corner of the sunroom, but it's gonna line up with the end of the house. So this larger section is going to be out to here, but then the smaller section over on this side in front of the, the sunroom is going to be in line with with the end of the house here, if that makes sense. So it'll kind of be like a, like meh, 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 meh. So it'll connect the sunroom, which is exciting, to 
the house because this has always felt separated so excited and then when it comes to stepping down so it's gonna be the level of the the concrete so it's gonna be at this level it's not gonna be raised like this so you're gonna step out onto a platform that is three and a half feet deep as opposed to just like a step and then a step down this way it'll feel like it just flows out of the house onto the patio so three and a half foot platform and then steps down to one step and then it's on the patio it's going to go the entire length of the door and beyond a little bit to line up with that light to kind of incorporate that light with the space so big platform and it actually goes beyond the, the, the door a little bit on this side. And this is what the pavers are gonna look like. So went with the Beacon Hill Smooth Granite Fusion. This is by Unilock, I think. And that's what the whole patio is gonna be. So I'm excited about that. Then it'll be a, a brick border surrounding the entire thing. There has to be a brick border to kind of hold everything together. And that's just gonna match the same color. A lot of times you may see like a, a paver patio with a contrasting color brick border. To me, and I've said this multiple times in you know past vlogs, I go for timeless, and that I don't feel is timeless. If you look at pictures of like a, you know, a nice gray concrete kind of looking stone, and it has this like really dark black border or contrasting color, that I don't see staying in style forever. Um, whereas if everything matches, it's gonna last longer when it comes to trends and timelessness. So the patio people were trying to push that black border. I'm like, nope, we're going matchy matchy. And then it also doesn't draw attention to itself as well. So, you know, the focus is the patio as opposed to the border. Um, okay, so then, that's the patio and then for the landscaping i'll show you all that stuff so as i mentioned this was where the shed used to be this is now going to be a big pine tree actually let me show you like what's coming out first and then i'll tell you where things are going to be placed sadly these roses are coming out they were transplanted to another part of the yard I mean, like some of them were transplanted there's so much of it it's crazy but they spread like wildflower flower they spread like wildfire and are beautiful they look like peonies almost and they smell delicious um all right so this used to be well it technically still is a stream that i put in like maybe 10 years ago and it looks cruddy because um a lot of the neighbors were able to take a lot of these boulders and use them which is great because they'd just be in a landfill if not but this went the entire length of the yard and i have a little video of what it looked like um, that i will put in so that you can see the stream running And it was really nice, but there's a leak somewhere in it, and I just don't feel like trying to find it. And it's a pain in the butt to have to clean out every year. It's like, look at all the mud in there. So this is coming out. The three grasses are being transplanted. The wild indigo is being transplanted. Rose of Sharon's are staying, but everything else is being taken out. This stone is gonna be replaced with sod. All right, so we have a 10 foot pine tree in the corner here then an eight foot and six foot, as well as a birch tree on the side here. Next to this tree will be another 10 foot. And then in between these trees, there will be an eight foot pine tree and then birch and maybe birch. This mini pergola is coming out because it's ready to fall down. This pine tree stain, that uh, apple tree is stain. Sadly, it doesn't produce like apple apples. It's just like a ornamental crab apple tree but there's going to be a 10 foot pine tree here this is a uh, red bud that planted itself which is cool so that's going to stay and then sprinkled throughout everything will be the burning bushes the goal is to make it look kind of like a forest like a pine and birch forest so that is what phase two is going to be yeah the other exciting thing that's happening today is i have my 12 week appointment for the bicep surgery. So this is like the final appointment, which is amazing that it's been 12 weeks already. The arm's been feeling really good. The 12 week is like the don't do anything crazy until then. That's the final checkup. 
make sure everything is still attached and good and functioning. And everything is still attached, good and functioning. So today is when I get the all clear to start using it in any way I need to. Making my morning coffee. Pop some invisibility cloak ice in here. Let me just say, everything about this, I am so, so happy with. I am thrilled with the drink cleaner, I mean the cup cleaner, the fact that there's a filter on this tap so the cold water is actually filtered. So I don't have to go to the kitchen to finish making my Americanos, just turn it to cold and fill it up with filtered water. And then this is attached to the hot water line as you guys have seen. So it makes cleaning super easy. I just, everything about this, I, I, the whole house, the whole renovations, everything that was done. Okay, so there is so much to show you guys. New fossils, new uh, rocks and minerals. Ugh, mm -hmm. it's gorgeous. Um, all right, uh, fossil update, because this is kind of like a, I don't know, this is like a reno vlog. All the reno vlogs have kind of just been like vlogs where I update you guys on things and I guess this is gonna be the same thing. So the fossil was sent back finally to Montana and they are currently working on it. They said that the brakes are gonna need some restoration, which is understandable. I have no idea when it's gonna come back, honestly. Hopefully it comes back sooner than later, but they're supposedly working on it, so that's exciting. And then we'll have that displayed and done and finalized. Um, there was another fossil that I found, okay, so, for over here, I have something specific that I want in the corner. Something specific, very specific. So that's why this is empty and dead. And I found it. I found it, I found it, I found it. This was a big to-do that required five months of credit card dispute. It was a full, fully articulated sauropod leg fossil. So like, uh, technically an arm because it was the humerus, the radius, the ulna, and entire foot, or I guess hand, assembly. So when I purchased it, one of the flanges and the claw both had 50% restoration. And I confirmed that everything else is original, not restored, and when I say restoration, that's like they had to like add fake material to restore it, basically. And they confirmed, yes, every, all the bones are original except for 50% of the claw, and 50% of one of the flanges, which I was fine with. So purchased it, it arrived, I started filming an unboxing video, and then I opened up the foot assembly and was so excited, I was like, this is the foot assembly. The whole entire thing was fabricated, fake. The whole entire foot assembly, so all of the flanges, the claw, it came in this giant crate. I actually showed a picture on Instagram of the crate so if you were wondering what was inside the crate, that's what was in the crate. Oh my gosh. I'm holding a piece of a Camarasaurus. I'm holding a piece of a Camarasaurus. It's the scap- no, it's not the scapula. We're about to see the animal's foot. Oh my gosh. I just opened up the the foot and it's it's not real bone. So the radius and the ulna, those were all original. They were so beautiful. They were so beautiful. And then the humerus was 50% restored. So the whole distal portion of the bottom portion of the 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 humerus was was restored and fabricated. So there was confusion. They said they were gonna do a refund and then nothing happened and then there weren't responses. This may have all just been miscommunication. So I'm not gonna bash anybody. I wouldn't bash anyone anyway, but I'm not gonna say names or anything. But so I had to open up a credit card dispute, which then extended the process five months. Anyway, long story short, I've got my money back. They've got the half real fossil back and now I'm back to looking for another one. That's what's gonna be in the corner there. But the problem is I need to find a juvenile specimen because the ceilings are like eight feet tall and sauropods were gigantosaurus. So like an adult leg or arm is 12, 14 feet tall and I don't have room for that. So I need a juvenile and this was a juvenile. Another option, but a lot more expensive, but if I find it from the right person, I might be able to swing it, 
is an Allosaurus leg, which uh, would be amazing. It's like just outside of the budget. I might be able to make it work, but an Allosaurus leg, I would go, I would choose over a, uh, a sauropod leg. -like. And I don't know why I was telling you guys about this. Oh, because we were talking about, oh yeah, yeah, we were talking about fossils. So I gave you an update on the sauropod vertebrae. Um, as well as like said that there were some other fossils and stuff in the collection and rocks and minerals and stuff. So, um, what time is it? I've got to get ready for my appointment. So originally I think I mentioned that a big deck was gonna go in here and really fill in the space. So this would just all be deck as opposed to patio. If you want a deck to be this low, which makes sense for this one because this one's rotting, it's going to rot because it's so close to the ground. And although the the deck boards on top are composite and, and not real wood, the boards and supports and the beams and stuff underneath are real wood. And if you don't use real wood, it's a lot more expensive. And I was actually thinking a patio would be so cool too. There's something about a patio versus a deck that's just feels like you're like on vacation or something. If you're like sitting on a patio, I don't know. It just does for me. And it's cheaper. So it was a lot cheaper to do a patio versus a deck, which I would have never guessed. I would have thought the patio would be more expensive. All right, come to the appointment with me, the 12 week appointment. It's gonna be so nice with no rain for the next week or so. So I took the roof off the Bronco, the doors off of the Bronco. We are just open air, baby. So it's literally been 12 weeks today since I was actually here seeing the doctor verify that the bicep was ruptured if you don't know what i'm talking about um you can check the one of my videos from march um i ruptured my right bicep and needed surgery here's the scar that's going to fade a bit as as time goes on but um yeah this is the actually 12 weeks to the day that i was was here and then had surgery the next day so they're doing another x-ray um, so I'm waiting for the x-ray tech and then I'll see the doctor. All clear. So basically what the all clear means is I am now free to do like strenuous activity and work out harder and like put stress on the muscle, which is exciting. So I can start really building back the strength in that, that bicep. In case you're curious, I got the Bronco in December after Christmas, traded in my other SUV and got this bad boy. It's so fun. The trees are here, the trees are here, the trees are here. They're so big, I'm so excited. They actually look bigger than 10 feet. These are the three 10 footers and they actually look bigger than 10 feet. So they might be like 12 feet tall. Look at how beautiful. Here they are, the trio of trees. And I measured them, and they're actually 12 feet tall. They were supposed to be 10 feet, and they're 12 feet, and I couldn't be more happy. Norway spruce demo begins. Little rant. Anyone who's had work done, or you know, you know, stuff done in the back of their house or something, or like landscaping their house or whatever, has the company you hired just stuck a sign in the middle of the yard advertising the company. <laughs> like, it's like, I'm paying you to do the work. It's, there's like a, a weird fine line between putting a sign in someone's yard and, I, I guess the difference is, it's not in the contract that like, oh, we're gonna put a sign in your yard to advertise our business, which is good. It's like, you know, a business should find ways to advertise themselves. But then it's like, you also didn't ask me, hey, can we stick a sign in the middle of your front yard? Maybe I don't want people knowing my business. Like, oh, you know, he hired so-and-so to do his patio. Like, I'm okay with it, but I'm also not okay with it. I don't know, what do you guys think? And maybe there's some contractors here watching that can like speak on this. It's, it's a weird, it's a weird thing. All right, so today they are demoing the deck and then they're also gonna be demoing the concrete, so all this concrete I showed you guys, and then all of that concrete over there too. Many hands do light work, or fast work. I wouldn't call this light, <laughs> but I would call this fast. And then the rest of the deck is over there. So this is what was underneath the deck, this concrete patio. So this is being removed. And then also, this little walkway area. 
It's crazy how thick the the concrete is. So now they're cutting a nice little platform out of what's already there for the uh, air conditioner unit here. It's really getting crazy now. What they're doing is they're putting in these metal posts and um, that's how they're going to level the whole thing make sure that everything's level and then they tie it up with that orange string jet excited about the new patio yeah you too max puppy's excited about the patio yeah me too All right, so this is what they've done so far. And then the border that goes all along the patio, on the outside of the entire patio, is also going to extend on the side of this concrete patio to kind of tie everything together. So it'll just flow, the border will flow. Flow, 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 y'all. All about that flow. It's gonna be huge. They are done for the day. And they got the entire base gravel put in this patio is huge oh my gosh I don't think that you can quite get the scale of it there can be some fun parties on this patio let me stand in the middle so you can kind of get a sense of it it might be hard to see on the video but the ground is grading down so it actually looks almost like yeah you can kind of see it it, it looks like the house is like built up on a hill almost, which is kind of cool. So there's a steeper grade than I was expecting, but I kind of like that. I'm not sure if they'll kind of feather this out and down a bit more, but it's really cool. Welcome to my patio. We'll be serving hors d'oeuvres and crudite at 7.30. <laughs> this is how big it is. It is day two. There was an inspection today which passed, so we're good with that. So now what they're doing is they are adding the top layer of gravel, finer gravel. And oh look, he's already placing the um the pavers. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is crazy. It's like actually starting. So it's coming right along. So he has those pipes there, those metal pipes, and those metal pipes are at a slight angle, so away from the house and he uses that board to make sure that the, the gravel that they're putting on top is level and stays level because they've already leveled everything. And then that makes, and then the pipes kind of guide the, the two by four to make sure that the, the slope is correct and everything's level. And oh my gosh, we're actually paving. So I was uh, speaking to Saul, he's the lead out there. He said that, um, they're gonna start paving today, which they are. They'll be back tomorrow, which I wasn't expecting them to come tomorrow because tomorrow's Saturday. The landscapers will be here tomorrow. And then he said, they'll be finished Monday. 
I was expecting, you know, maybe Wednesday or Thursday, but they're gonna be done on Monday, which is crazy. So patio will be done Monday. The landscaping is gonna be done Monday because the landscaper is scheduled for Saturday and Monday. So everything's gonna be done on Monday. So we've got pavers on the side of the house. The entire driveway is covered in pavers. So that's Saul, he's um, putting down a low voltage wire so that I can run landscape lighting out from the outlet that's over here on the side of the sunroom. My shoes are very squeaky. I got them on Amazon. They were $35. They're probably fake, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so he's running landscape wire underneath the patio so that I can power the yard. And then I've got outlets out there too um, for the back trees. Like the whole yard's gonna be lit up. Time lapse set. So sadly, I have to go leave. I'm gonna run an errand for my sister, but um, when I come back, there should be a patio. And I'll be able to watch like the whole, you know, assembly of the patio with uh, the time lapse in there. So that's good. So this is all the, the good stuff. Got the bags and bags of gravel. And then this is the, the top stone. So this goes on like the steps and stuff. See the rounded edge. Originally I was gonna go for a squared off edge, but I liked the rounded when I went to the place to look at stone. So this is the border. These are the border bricks. And then here's the pavers. So very close match. And then this is for the steps. This is the stair stone. So everything matches, no contrasting colors, no black border. So overall, I'm very, very happy. And then that's um, the stuff that goes in between to hold everything together. I just got back and I did position myself at the door to like be like, oh, I just walked in even though I did walk in already, but I haven't looked at the patio yet. So I just wanted to be honest about that. I did position myself in front of the door as though I had just gotten home. I did just get home, but I didn't look at the patio yet. So this is my first view of what they've done. <laughs> Ew. I think I just blew boogers. Maybe I caught that. But that was a good booger explosion. It's huge. Okay, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna give you the same view that I had. Oh, wow. It is gorgeous. And Gigantosaurus. So this is gonna be the end of, the end of today. So the end of today will be the end of this vlog. And since they'll be done on Monday, there's not gonna be a super long wait between this vlog and the next vlog. So that vlog will have all of the landscaping as well as the finishing up of the patio. And don't worry, I won't like be like, oh, I'm gonna wait to show you the big reveal of the patio until I show you the big reveal of this house. Um, so I won't wait. I'll show you guys the patio when it's done and the landscaping. Yeah, then we'll do the big reveal of this place too. This will be a separate vlog, because I want to do, again, before and after shots and everything, and have to like prepare it a little bit more, get ready, you know, wipe off the, the water marks on the window, you know, that sort of thing. out a portion of this paver to go around that pipe. So this is like a sewage access or whatever, so it has to stay there, unfortunately, but it'll be covered in, in some way. It's the ceremonial placement of the paver. A perfect fit. Now that is a pro.
Okay, well, it's nighttime, so it's super dark, but before ending this part of the phase two vlogs, I wanted to show you what they finished today. Oh my goodness, you guys. Crazy town. So that is the end of this part. If they don't finish tomorrow, they'll be back Monday. So tomorrow's Saturday. Also tomorrow, the landscapers will be here, which is very exciting. So landscapers are gonna start that back area, cleaning that up, maybe planting some trees, hopefully. So yeah, that's what's happening next. And then by Monday, by Monday evening, I'm gonna be able to put like furniture on the patio and stuff. Like it's moved so fast, very excited. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector or on Discord. You'll find the official Potter Collector Discord link down below. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome! We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa! Where'd he go?